All right, I'm not sure it gets much better than that gold medal match for our women's pro doubles, but we'll see if the men can try and top it. We have one final match remaining here today at the APP at Punta Gorda Open presented by Head Pickleball. Lauren McLaughlin and Dominic Catalano here with you courtside. We have Derek Prince right there looking serious, ready for business. Here is a, the head referee of this gold medal match. Joanna Corker will be our backup referee for this match. We have coming through the winner bracket, Deckel Barr and Kyle Yates undefeated so far here today. They take on the young team of Dylan Frazier and J.W. Johnson. Just like we saw in our women's matchup, Yates and Barr, of course, coming through that winner bracket, knocking down Frazier and Johnson in that winner bracket final to the bronze where they took down Gridley and Farias to get back into this gold medal match. So if Yates and Barr win the two out of three portion of this match, they will secure themselves a gold medal. J.W. Johnson and Dylan Frazier will not only have to win the two out of three portion, but just like we saw that tiebreaker match to 15 to get themselves that gold medal. Game number one about to be underway. Dylan Frazier and J.W. Johnson on the far end will start us off serving. Deckel Barr and Kyle Yates on the near end receiving as the sun dips into the sky here in Punta Gorda, Florida. The lights are on. The camera is crystal clear and we got one final match of pickleball left to go here today. that speed up. When these teams One, two, faced two. off earlier, Dom, what was the outcome of that? 11-4, 11-3 to Yates and Barr. Yates and Barr were feeling very good cruising earlier as they had a good rhythm. And now they have been sitting for some time waiting for this gold medal match. They did like and want that break because it was very hot earlier. So they weren't complaining about it, but now it does take them a little while to kind of get loose and get back in this. Yep, Frazier and Johnson, of course, coming off that bronze medal win. So they're gonna be a little looser, a little warmer here. And they're up 3-0 here in game one. Oh, that's a nice finish there from Kyle Yates. They needed that right there, get that side out. Zero, three, one. As I recall, in that winner bracket final when these teams faced off before, Frazier and Johnson just really didn't get a lot going. They were making a lot of errors, losing a lot of hands battles. So we'll definitely see if that is cut down here. They're playing a little more confidently, coming out on top of some of those exchanges. That's going to sail sir. along after clipping the net. Three, zero, two. Oh, and a serve into the net from Frazier. Results in a side out. No zero, three, further points one. able to be added. Gates and Barr looking to get on the board here now. Bar getting really big there in the middle, making his presence felt. One, three, one. Spot there from Deco Bar down the middle. Finds that hole. Within one, tying this up. Two, three, two. Seven, eight, two. Oh, no. 
Yates wants that right there. It's just didn't get flat enough with his paddle. Kind of was going upward with that. Three, Ball goes two, out. Uh, flatten that out. That's good jump right there from Deckel Bar, showing that yes, athleticism. Three, two, two. That's one gigantic step. Point. Four, two, two. Kyle Yates. Three, four, one. Good time for that lob right there from Yates. Put it in a good position. Barr held his ground. Frazier was leaning back in that overhead. Running early. <laughs> Baseline to net. Full sprint. Jumping that side. <laughs> Bar fading back on that, on his heels. He needs to be on his toes, driving that, moving forward. Four, four, one. Tied at fours, though, here in this first game of our gold medal match. Bracket final here. combo from Johnson and Frazier. Deckelbar and Kyle Yates played so clean in that winter bracket final. You can see it in the score of that match. Sitting a little bit longer here, coming through the winner bracket. Creates a little bit longer of a wait for the gold medal match. Bar almost able to get that back <laughs> up and over. Thought I was about to see a tuck and roll there from Deckel Bar.
great job. First the cover from Jekyll Bar, and then the reset for Yates to get back in here. And then he's able to hit the winner on the Ernie attempt from J.W. Johnson. Four, five, one. Too high. Johnson able to easily pull a little backhand five, five, two. at Declabar's feet. Tied at fives though. from Deco Barr. Great patience on both sides of the net. Barr able to get the most of his opportunity on the ball up. Wind picking up just a little bit here. Again, it calmed, had, had calmed down a little bit. Starting to Breeze up as the temperature is dipping here this evening. I think I heard Yates say the ball just got crisp all of a sudden. But yeah, that's what happens. The humidity drops, mm -hmm. right? The temperature, the temperature drops, drops significantly. The ball starts traveling faster. The humid weather ball gets softer. Ball travels a lot slower. Oh, good effort there from Frazier. Thought he had a chance of getting that one over. Transition zone. Five, seven, two. Side out. Big hold there for Frazier and Johnson. Two point lead here in game one of this gold medal seven, match. Five, one. Finally, 
gets the shot he wants into that backcourt. And again, the sun is set, the lights are on, and that removes the factor of the sun in the players' faces, depending on which side they're on of the court. So it really kind of evens the playing field here under the lights. Takes away a little bit of that potential issues on one side versus the other. Serve's going to go long, though. Line like Barr just did. Usually you're going cross court, but just eats it right by Dylan Frazier. Nothing Yates can do about that. The ball just attaches itself to the net and drops over. Seven, six, one. attack there. Barr starts that and Kyle Yates finishes it. All tied here at seven. take a one point lead here up 8-7 in game one. Yates and Barr coming out of that winner's bracket. So they have that game to 15 if need be, but if they win this two out of three, Eight, it's seven, all she wrote. And they are our gold medalists here at the APP Punta Gorda Open. So good. Points. are struggling just a little bit, just leaving the ball up too high. Yeah, and just that was, can't do it. That was a great third shot drop from Yates. That sets up the put away Nine, from Barr. And Barr knows that he immediately turns around, looks at Yates, and says, so good. Yeah, Kyle. Wow, Nine, and they are feeling now, all of a sudden, that momentum they had, it mm -hmm. just seems like it took them a little while to get back into that after the delay. Yep. And now they have that momentum back, that mojo back Ten, from seven, the winner's two. bracket final. Game point here in game one of this gold medal match. Oh, off the off. right <laughs> thigh of Deckel Barr. And so Frazier and Johnson Seven, live ten, to fight one. another serve.
just he waits so long for this Ernie. I think Frazier had already, he had already hit it. He went Seven, after ten, he ten. hit it. So what do you do? You, there's nothing you can do. You Never think hit he, it to that sideline, yeah. I guess, in front of Deckel Bar. Yeah, I mean, you're thinking he's not going. And he doesn't go until after you hit it. Mm -hmm. Oh, another body shot, though. Yep. So within two. Ten, ten. Packed house here. Standing room only for the men's pro gold medal match. Yeah. Oh, catches that sideline. Nice little backhand flick there. That yeah, good attack there from Kyle Yates. He went middle then sideline. Ten, eight, one. Two more game point opportunities. Drops it in. Johnson ready for that speed up from Yates. again Eight, they can ten, put one. even one point on here take up the leash Nice job, Deckel Bar again. You watch him, he just gets so low. He drops down, gets that forehand ready. Ten, eight, one. Another game point here for Yates and Barr. If you're Fraser and Johnson, do you think it would be beneficial for them to dink more to the middle, kind of force Barr and Yates to keep working that out instead of potentially Frazier going at Barr? Yeah, oh, you just, risking just, that avoid it. just avoid that spot. Yeah, I'd like to see Frazier just kind of learn his lesson. Oh, nice get from Yates. Good switch, good cover. Ooh. Oh, wow. Someone in the stands, when that ball was hit, goes, yeah. And Yates <laughs> tracked it down. And they get back in it and win. 11-8 in game number one. All right, so one game down, one to go here for Yates and Barr to secure that gold medal match. Don't go anywhere. Game number two will be underway right after this short break. match of the day underway right now. It is the gold medal match here in our men's pro doubles division at the APP Punta Gorda Open presented by Head Pickleball. Game number two coming up right now. Yates and Barr come out on top in game one, 11-8. All they need is one more game to secure that gold medal. Let's see if Dylan Frazier and J.W. Johnson, who will be on the near end for game two, have an answer here. Just goes right under the arm of Deckel Bar. One, zero, one. Oh, look at that beautiful sky in the background. One, nice zero, two. Little pink, little rose in the sky back there. Nice. As the sun is setting. Good 
believe. I think the first one may have been out too, but Frazier played that first one. Frazier finds an opening. all the difference right there. Yeah. Uh, Yates there just got a little out in front. He's let that ball get a little bit more on him. Not jam him up, but a little more on him. He doesn't hit that so much at a downward angle. Yes. Yeah. Oh, good read by Parr. We're seeing the exact same situation as game one play out here. Frazier and Johnson jump out in front by a few points and then Yates and Barr now looking to make a move. comfortable with that lead. They're looking to take it away right now. Two, three, two. Yeah. Oh, Frazier gets jammed up. He almost takes a peek back to see if that ball's possibly going out. Could have been. Three, three, two. We'll never know. That's a nice shot. What is it, the inside in? So Deckel brings his forehand inside of his body and goes Just back inside. Yep. It's that paddle head straight down Four, as he three, two. flicks that up. And now they are in the lead. Yeah. And looking to close out this gold medal match Game in two out. games. And we have a timeout here called by Frazier and Johnson. Looking to slow down the momentum here. Again, very similar to the winner bracket final when these two faced off. Frazier and Johnson put up a little bit more of a fight in game one. Let's see if they can make some adjustments here in game two as well. Otherwise, Yates and Barr are going to get the same result. This time, a gold medal to go along with a win here. What are you seeing from Frazier and Johnson that's not happening that needs to be happening to get back in this? Well, again, trying to get into these firefights with Deco Barr and Kyle Yates. And after early on in game one, they were working. It seemed like Yates and Barr weren't kind of acclimated yet. And then they did get acclimated and walked and then walk away, but pulled away in game number one, 11-8. And now it's the same kind of thing. Deckelbar and Kyle Yates are ready for that pace, and it's just not working at the moment. It's gonna be good. I do think that Frazier and Johnson should continue to look for some pace, look for it at the right time when they can attack. Because that is the name of their game. But they're making mistakes like that yeah. right now that they just can't handle. Definitely some errors is making the difference right now for Frazier and Johnson Six, not being three, able to two. keep it as close as they would like it to be. Ooh, that 
Righto. Massive serve from Declabar. And again, we've seen him you know, hit it long here and there today. Three, six, we talked about he's really going for it a lot more, and that is going to result in some missed serves, but worth it to him. Nice one serve. Three, six, two. Frazier and Johnson Five, six, now within one. No. Yeah. Side out. Long. Side out to Yates and Barr. As they will look to add on. Set that at the inside foot of Dylan Frazier, but catches the top of the tape, so a no go there, and they are still up by one. Nice flick there from Dylan Frazier down the middle. Watch him hold this nicely. Wait till the last second. Five, six, and one. Had bar leaning. Really nice shots from Johnson and Frazier. They're just yeah. too few and far between right now. And unfortunately, they do not outnumber the errors we're seeing out of them. Five, six, compounded with how well Yates and Barr are playing as well. Ball down the middle again, creating the holes by dinking cross court. and Barr are just grinding these points out. It's an old school pickleball mentality. Seven, Grind five, it out. And we haven't seen Yates and Barr team up much. So I know a lot of people are interested to see how this partnership would play out today. I'm gonna say not so bad. It's, uh, it's going pretty good, <laughs> pretty good. Oh. <laughs> Kick save, another, leg save. Another leg block. But yeah, not bad at all. We usually see Deco Bar play with Adam Stone. Mm -hmm. um, but Who Adam was here today? He played with uh, DJ Young. Mm -hmm. Hold, Frazier and Johnson. Five, seven, Been stuck one. on five for a little while here, trying to get off that and get inch closer back into this game number two, trying to force a third game. I've just seen Frazier yes, leave too many balls high. He just has really struggled with keeping those dinks Five, really seven, low. Two. When you got the length and the experience of Defabar and Kyle Yates across from you, that just can't happen at this level. Yeah, and Jackal's just picking his spots right now at Frazier. 
straight up and Frazier's just making mistakes. Leaving balls long or leaving balls up to where he's putting that away. Seven, five, one. with how that played out. It did seem like Deckel Bar yelled a little bit before that rally concluded. I think Frazier thought there was a possibility it caught that sideline. Hanging in here, Five, not eight, giving one. it away easy to Yates and Barr. All the Barr and Yates keep adding to their score, mm -hmm. one by one. Yeah, that, I could tell as Barr went for that, that was ambitious. Yeah, I'm more about him letting that bounce right there and letting Six, Yates get eight, it. One. Let Kyle get that. Let him do something with it, and you work your way back in. Good pick up, Frazier. Bar just zoned in right now as far as playing these points out, elongating them, you know, waiting for the right opportunity. And then when that opportunity presents itself, he is making the most of it. While your 2022 Punch Gorda gold medalist senior pro is Rick Whitfield and Scott Brandall. The ladies, the ladies will be represented by June Johnson and Angela Simon as bronze medalists for the women's doubles pro senior. Silver medalist goes to Silver Sarah Mitten and Mary Helen Hawkins. And your gold medalists are Beth Bellamy and Anna Shirley for the 2022 Miss Oh, Olympics. nice setup by Kyle and Yates. Is, he sped that up, forced the pop girl. up. Please meet us able to Frank finish. Nelson is Deco Bar two points away from a gold medal Nine, here. Six, one. Point. Yeah, it's unfortunate there for yeah, J.W. Johnson off the tape and a gold medal match point here Ten, for six, Yates and Barr. Oh, you oh, don't want to flip halfway up the net. I like that. Deckel wants that one back. <laughs> Another opportunity on the big serve from Deckel Barr. Oh, and Frazier and Johnson. Hold them. Staying alive here. Have to put points on the board here, yeah. though. I think if they give the ball back, could be all she wrote. We'll see. It's a ball Seven, game. Ten, mm -hmm. Now he starts to put the pressure on Yates and bar to finish. Yes! Uh, fortunate net court and then up into the upper body of Dylan Frazier. 
just again. It, so I, tough. So a little too high and right in Deckelbar's wheelhouse for that Ernie. And an ATP from Kyle Yates yep. gets the job done here as Kyle Yates and Deckelbar secure themselves a gold medal here undefeated through the men's pro doubles bracket here at the Punta Gorda Open. There it is, the final shot of the match. Well done, well-deserved gold medal and a big congrats as well to Dylan Frazier and J.W. Johnson, our silver medalists here. Thank you everyone for joining us. We'll be on court one last time in the Franklin studio as Dominic interviews our gold medalists here in men's pro doubles. Plan to join us same place, same time tomorrow for our concluding day here at the Punta Gorda Open. It will be our pro singles in men's and women's. Bright shining star Anna Bright will see how she does in singles for the first time at the professional level. Had an amazing day of play here. Thank you so much again for joining us. Don't go anywhere. Back to the Franklin studio when we return, and then we'll see you tomorrow morning. All right, one last time here on Championship Court at the APP Punta Gorda Open. I'm with the men's pro gold medalist, Kyle Yates, Deckel Barr after their two-game victory over J.W. Johnson and Dylan Frazier. Kyle, you guys, again, cruising along. Seemed like at the beginning of game one, took a little while for you guys to get back into rhythm, but once you did, you were cruising again, just like you did in the winner's bracket final. Was something you guys were looking to do right away? Well, sure, that's normal. I mean, you, you, you know, we played them earlier, uh, and it was a lot warmer. And then we waited a while. They got a bronze medal match. Uh, so we just wanted to come out, play clean, but kind of get some jitters out early. And I think we were attacking a little too much early, and the ball was flying on us. So we made some errors early. But once we kind of settled down, just changed the strategy, started just keeping it real soft and low and just tried to be a little more patient, that kind of swung it a little bit in our favor. And then we just had some long, grueling points and just tried to stay mentally solid. Kyle came over after game one. You guys win 11-8. He looks at you and goes, ball's a little more crisp right now. Yeah. Could you tell that in game one and then going into game two? And what kind of a difference does that make as far as game plan? Yeah, of course. We played, like you said, played earlier. It was a lot warmer. The ball was a lot softer. Now it's it was way harder. Balls are flying a lot more. It's harder if your initial attack is not as good. They're crushing back at you. So you got to play a little bit softer, a little bit smarter. Uh, wait for the for a better opportunity. And then one of these kids going to learn that this area right here is closed off Hopefully because <laughs> we were we were watching on the replay and we were talking as we were, before we came on air that you were moving for the Ernie after Frazier had already hit it. What, what I mean, when are they going to learn that that's just closed off right there, Deck? Hopefully never. But <laughs> <laughs> and, and you're just going so late on that Ernie. But congratulations, Kyle, Deckel, our gold medalist here for the APP Punta Gorda Open Men's Pro Doubles. That's a wrap uh, for us here tonight. We have men's and women's pro singles tomorrow morning, starting bright and early, 8 o'clock. We'll start your stream at 10 o'clock. So join us then. Thank you guys for joining us today and all day long for men's and women's pro doubles. We'll see you in the morning.